it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today I want to talk about bolt-on bucket accessories. I'm going to show you the setup I made for my stock John Deere bucket and then I'm going to show you what I want to do differently on my Everything Attachments Wicked bucket. If you haven't seen anything about this, it's just a larger capacity bucket with a tooth bar built onto it. It's the piranha style tooth bar with the staggered cutting edges. Anyway, I'm really excited about the setup I have here, but first I want to show you what I did here. You know, it's just so handy having hooks on your bucket because you never know when you're going to want to move something that you don't have a good way to get a hold of. And if you don't have a grapple or you didn't bring your grapple to the job or whatever the case may be, it's handy to be able to just loop a section of chain through here and, you know, pull or lift on whatever it is you're working with. And so what a lot of people do, and what I did, is just get two hooks, put them on top of the bucket. And that does a pretty good job. The most common way to do it is to line them up with your um, bucket attachment points, right there and right here, because that's where the cylinders connect, it's where you have the most strength, and it helps keep you from you know, tweaking your bucket. Now on mine, what I did was put the two hooks onto this wider plate, and then I used two existing holes, and I only had to drill two holes that way. And with this wider plate being made out of a lot thicker steel and being that wide, it kind of eased my mind about potentially damaging the bucket. And I've used these a fair amount and I haven't had any problems with it. Now, let's look at my updated options on the new bucket. So when this bucket came in, one of the first things I noticed was it had a bunch of holes in it. And I kind of wondered what are those for? Immediately, these two look like the right hole pattern for a bolt-on hook. And they are. Then, got another set here, and then there's a set of those right here. But then there's also two sets turned the other way. I thought, well, maybe for some reason you'd want hooks turned sideways, but that doesn't really make sense. So then I started wondering what else could go there. Turns out these holes are specifically here for the Ken's bolt-on hooks. They make some products that attach in the center. This is a receiver hitch that uses this bolt pattern. So right away you can see you can have two hooks and a receiver. And a receiver is really handy. I've got a few different ways I can move a trailer with a tractor, but having it on the bucket is another great option because a lot of times the bucket's already on there. So I have it on my artillion frame, I have it on a heavy hitch uh, for the three point, but the more places you have a receiver, the more likely it's gonna be on the tractor when you need it. So my immediate thought is, you put the receiver and you put these two hooks right here. One thing I wanted to tell you about these is the quality, the weld quality, the build quality is fantastic on these. So I was talking to Ken that runs boltonhooks.com and he was telling me that these are forged in the USA and that this is the only hook on the market, the only bolt-on hook on the market that's forged in the USA. So that matters to me. I don't know if it matters to you or not, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. So we've got these hooks and these are really well made. You can tell that the welding is top notch. The powder coating looks good. But we've also got these plates right here that just have a single hole in them. Those can bolt on the same way and then use a ring and you can put a hook through these or anything else. Anything that's got a removable half inch barrel pin, you can put any kind of D-ring or hook or whatever you want on here. So now you've got the option to have this chain loop. So if I put this on here like this, now I can't just slap a chain through it, but I honestly, you know, I've got a toolbox on the back of the tractor that I can put chain in, but it's heavier and it's less convenient for a lot of things. If you're just doing something small, I don't want a chain. I want a ratchet strap. I can roll the extra strap up around that ratchet strap, takes up a tiny bit of space, it's lightweight, it can go in my little compartment on the side of the tractor. So these work great because you can use a ratchet strap, just hook it 
the straps right to it. You can also put a large diameter chain hook through there, or if you don't have the right size chain hooks, you can use an Adelink or one of these binders like this. And you can still use that with your chain if you want. So to me, if I had to pick one or the other, would I put the hooks on or these? I'm going with this option. But they've got everything set up for you at Ken's Bolt-On Hooks where you don't have to pick. On top and this on the bottom. So you've got both. Then you've got a receiver on top. Got one of these on the bottom. So now I can have three of these under the bucket and I can have two hooks on the top and a receiver. I've also got a hook, a big hook, that goes into my receiver. So now, just by this setup I got, I have a lot more options and flexibility than what I originally set up. So Ken has a video on his channel. It's called Ken Deckelman is the YouTube channel. And he has a setup video where he shows you if your bucket doesn't already have these holes and, and spots reinforced like mine does, the best way to drill these out, how to do a pilot, how to deburr the hole. So I recommend you check that video out if you're doing a full install. It's going to be a really simple install for me because it looks like everything attachments has looked what Ken has to offer and set their buckets up perfectly to use his attachments. So I'm going to get these on here real quick and give you a look at it. These hooks and D-ring options are not just for buckets either. I got a set of these bolt-on hooks and used them on my three-point carry-all. See, where else did I use them? I think I bought three or four sets. I put them on two carry-alls. The guy who does my fab work has a set of them that he's putting on his bucket. And then I've got them on my bucket. Now on this bucket, I might put them on the box blade. I mean, they take up a little bit of space, you know. But have you ever been like, man, I hate that I have so dang many places to hook a chain or a strap? Probably not. These are a grade eight bolt. So definitely don't have to worry about breaking anything here. Another thing, you really don't have to worry about breaking anything that you get from Ken's bolt-on hooks because they do real life harsh testing on these. Um, wait, rate them until they break or whatever it takes and there's no way a compact tractor like this can lift more than the capabilities of all this hardware. So, unless you have a 100 horse tractor or something like that, or a big skid steer, and you know, I didn't even look into that, it might even handle that. But if you've got a compact tractor, you got nothing to worry about with all this hardware. As you can see, the fact this bucket's already drilled for it, I'm going to do this whole install in about five minutes. Now we'll just screw these on real quick. I received this bucket I talked in the video about the bucket about how much I liked Ken's bolt-on hooks I hadn't ever talked to Ken or anything else I was just saying and I think it was second or third time I've mentioned in the on this channel that I like Ken's bolt-on hooks he sent me an email he said I really appreciate you talking about my product I'm gonna send you some hooks for your new bucket
And so I really appreciate that. But I was singing their praises long before he ever gave me anything. So, and like, like everything else on this channel, no one who's uh, ever sent me a product ever told me what to say, and I wouldn't do business with them if they did tell me what I had to say. All right, so now I can loop a chain through there. I can hook a ratchet strap on here. I can do either one without having to fasten anything or take anything apart. It's already here. If I want to for some reason, if I wanted to put a chain down here, I could just hook these on it. I've got chain hooks. And just because we're out here playing around, we'll put this guy on. Oh. Back through there. So, I think this is a heck of a setup. I think Ken's done a great job with his products, and the couple times I have had a question for him, I think I bought some hose tamers for my hydraulic hoses from them, and I had a question, and I got a quick response, so they offered me good customer service. I recommend the products. So, but I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.